If you've ever hurt your thumb, you'll realise how debilitating it is when your thumb doesn't do the things that it used to be able to do. Uh, I'm making this video simply because I broke my thumb just there um, and damaged tendons and ligaments this side and this side um, because my bike threw me off um, and I just wanted to take you through and share my rehab process for bringing it back to life so it's been about five weeks I believe it's a similar injury to if you fall with your hand outstretched like this and skier's thumb and golfer's thumb so both sides with the, the tendons and the ligaments so I'm about five weeks in, um, it's a lot better than it was uh, at the start. I wasn't able to, to move my hand in any of the ways that I can just now. So I started off by just making a flat palm and then opening my hand out, making a fist and opening my hand out, taking my thumb and trying to take it into gentle circles. So week by week, I have been experimenting with more and more strength building. But the first week was really just making it move in pain-free directions, but teaching it to do what it used to be able to do. And over time, the more strength we can build, you know, the, the healthier it's going to be uh, and will hopefully not have any long-term damage. So the first thing I did was hand movements, opening up, making the hand together. Five weeks on, it's still quite stiff. You know, it's 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 good, but it's not it's not back to normal. So don't expect a, a quick healing period. Um, but if you do your rehab correctly, you know, touch all the fingers, then you'll find that you actually rehab a lot quicker than you expect. So these were the things that I would do. I'd just sit at night, spend some time doing this. Take my other hand, pull gently. So no pain. Yes, it's going to be uncomfortable because it's rehab. You know, you've injured an area and we have to make it stronger. So I would just gently pull. So I'm, I'm basically gripping together and pulling just to give it some resistance. And then I went to a ball. I would just sit with the ball and I would just gently move it around. And it would be really slow movement. So I'd probably do this. And then this, and initially it was really sore just to lift my thumb up and go over. There was pain in here, there was pain over here, there was pain in the thumb. And we're just doing gentle isometric holds. So I was just squeezing it gently until it was uncomfortable and then backing off, but no pain. Rehab is going to be uncomfortable, so don't expect it to be, you know, no pain all the time. But you're going to limit the amount of pain because pain's pain's not good. That's that's saying that you've gone too far and you need to back off the intensity. So I would do that and I would just move my thumb around, move the ball around like that. Then I went on to a glass. And this is actually a Nutella glass and it's really helpful because there's a big flat side and then there's a thinner side so it's a longer side and a thinner side started off at the side like that and just holding the glass now initially i couldn't actually pick the glass up off the ground when i got better at that i was starting to take my hand a little bit wider and i would just hold it and gently do this so i'd start with the smaller one move to the bigger and then i actually took my ball put it on top and I gave it a little bit extra weight to work with that. Once I, I did that, I moved on to a cup. So I taught myself how to hold my cup of coffee. And also, if you're picking it up, to pick it up like that. This is still quite difficult for me. The pain of the, the squeeze, so the grip strength, is something that I think takes the longest to build back. And it's, it's kind of sore in there. So the injury for me was um, my bike threw me off so that the most painful thing for me was actually putting my hand back around the handlebar. So I used this dumbbell. Using the other hand to keep it steady, I just placed my hand around it. Now, I wasn't initially able to do this. My thumb did not want to go around. It just was quite happy sitting there. So being able to really pull that thumb round and that's what I would do is just hold that position try and move it round and then I just I've been gently squeezing and you might hear that my thumb's cracking a lot this is something that's happened um, a lot as well it's not painful it just ow it cracks a lot um, it wasn't actually painful when I said ow there it's just a, 
I bent it too fast. So gripping onto that, and I'm still holding on with this, but now I can actually move about and take the weight. And I'm not gripping hard. If I was to grip hard, it would be just too much for the moment. But just shifting the weight over to that side of the hand, to this side of the hand, and seeing how it, it tolerates it. Now the last thing I've been doing, I mean I'm, I'm doing all of these, but these have been the most helpful, is a weight plate. So that's like 1.25 kilos, and I'm trying to build some grip strength and just squeeze and lift very gently, just like that, squeeze and lift. Change finger so that it puts the thumb in a different position. Change finger again. And just gently, like two, three second holds is all it takes. And teaching the thumb how to build that grip strength again. Because at the start, I couldn't even hold like a, a coffee jar. I couldn't open jars. Um, yes, I like my coffee. So it was quite, it was quite frustrating. But do your rehab. Um, take care. Don't hurt yourself while doing your rehab. Do it slowly. Build up the strength incrementally over time. And your thumb should be good in a matter of however long it takes you. <laughs> Hope that's helpful.